All right, welcome uh, to the Coyote Pellet Grill Training. Um, appreciate everyone's attendance here. My name is Andrew Savant. I'm the Vice President of Sales and Marketing here at Pinnacle, and we're really excited to share with you more about the pellet grill from Coyote. Just a couple of housekeeping items. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to throw those in the chat, or um, we will have time for some Q&A at the end. Um, also, we're doing something a little bit different today. We'll, we'll actually have a Q&A or a kind of a, I guess maybe more like a game show kind of question where everybody will be able to participate. Um, and the winner, whoever gets the most points, will win a $50 Visa gift card. So a little, little bit different, a little bit um, uh, different format uh, than we've done in the past. But appreciate everyone here. And um, we'll go ahead and get started. So um, the uh, game show type of format we're doing is with um, a company called Kahoot, and they have basically an online um, way to interact and answer questions. And you get points the faster you answer the question, and the more questions you get right, the more points you get. And so we will be doing a 10-question little game show here at the end. So um, you would need to either open the Kahoot.it uh, website, maybe in another screen, and we'll get to it in a minute, or you can download the Kahoot app on your Apple or Android device. So we'll uh, just a little prep there and uh, you know, pay attention, take some notes. So we'll go ahead and jump into um, pellet grill. And the, you know, the first is why a pellet grill? So the, over the last couple of years, they've really become extremely popular and they've taken the industry by storm and they're really on track to even outpace gas grill sales within five years. But, but why? You know, why is a big question. So these are the four main reasons why your customer might be thinking about uh, a pellet grill. Uh, the first and foremost is you can flavor your fuel. And what that means is the fuel that actually is used to heat up the grill and cook whatever the food is that you're, you're um, cooking can have a, its own unique flavor. So you're using these wood chips and these wood chips can have a hickory or mesquite, pecan, Tennessee whiskey, cherry. Um, so you, you can't really do that with a gas grill. Um, you can use you know, a smoker and use wood chips that way, but this way the fuel that's used to power the heat all has its own unique flavor. So people really like that and they can kind of change the taste of their food by choosing different types of pellets. The second reason is a pellet grill is very easy to use. Um, so there's, there's no kind of guessing or wondering what the internal temperature is because the, the probe inside actually goes and cooks and controls the amount of pellets to the exact temperature you have. It's basically an outdoor oven. And you can bake in here. You could do cookies, pizzas, uh, casseroles. Um, one of my favorite is a smoked Gouda mac and cheese casserole you can put in there. Just really bring out unique flavors and be able to have great temperature control. It's also a safe, low combustible fuel, meaning you know pellets have to be ignited to catch on fire, uh, it's not as flammable as gas. Gas is a highly combustible um, fuel, and uh, you know sometimes that kind of scares people if it's not uh, controlled in the correct way. The other thing is it's a green, environmentally friendly type of fuel, meaning it's a using a renewable source. Wood pellets are renewable because you can grow more trees, um, so it is a little bit more of a greener um, type of fuel there. So those are the basic reasons why to choose a pellet grill. And um, you know, this is kind of what we've been left with is uh, this kind of barrel tipped on its side. <laughs> and uh, you know, it's not real appealing. It's definitely not a luxury look and feel. And that's what's been great about Coyote is they've been able to introduce um, you know, something that fits into that luxury kitchen. Um, and we really haven't been, we, Coyote launched the pellet grill really to the market um, mid to late last summer. Uh, so we really haven't been in through a full grill season for those of y'all in our Northern territories um, with this product. And it's a great opportunity to tell your customers about, hey, this is something new. 
And this is, you know, that very popular style of cooking that everyone is doing. This is how you can integrate it into a luxury uh, kitchen. So um, we'll go into the offering, you know, from Coyote. So we have both a built-in version and a cart and both a 28 inch and a 36 inch model. Um, so a lot of flexibility there. Um, and they, they really provide incredible value. And the thing is they don't look like a traditional pellet grill like that picture we saw turned on its side. This looks like a professional high-end uh, built-in grill. Um, so it, it's got the functionality, it's got the style um, that, that you want. So two installation types, two sizes, very simple. And they're in stock at Pinnacle. So some of the basic features, um, as with all Coyote products, it is a 304 stainless steel construction and using a double wall canopy. Um, it has a, a very unique system uh, for dropping the pellets into um, the, the burner pot. And we call it a smart drop technology. And what that means is um, with a traditional pellet grill, it's kind of uses like a conveyor belt system where the pellets kind of ride down this conveyor belt and till they eventually get to where they get burned and used as fuel. Well, what happens is at the end <clears throat> of cooking, you may have extra stuff, extra pellets on the conveyor belt. And those are kind of wasted pellets and they get, they get, um, they, they really don't get used in there, but there's no way to get them back out. So the great thing about Coyote is we drop it directly into the burner pot. It's either in the hopper waiting or, <coughs> excuse me, it's in the burner pot. So it's a smart drop technology. It's really sophisticated and it's a premium way of dispensing pellets. Excuse me. So another great feature is all the carts are pre-assembled. So behind me, I have a 36 inch pellet grill. We pulled it right out of the box um, and, and it was set up and ready to go. Interior lighting, um, it does use just a standard 110 electrical outlet. Uh, so there's no special electrical, or obviously gas connections there um, with, with the product. Um, this is a great shot of a built-in island uh, using the RTA uh, outdoor product. But <clears throat> another really neat feature, which we'll look at here in a minute, is the VersaRack. This really, it's a three-in-one system, but it really allows you to maximize the space on the interior of the grill, and which is really important if you're smoking. Because um, smoking is not using direct heat. Um, you can, you know, it's really that low and slow type of thing. You can stack multiple layers of meat on top of each other and, and spread them out. And so you can really increase the capacity of the grill. Laser cut grates, built-in timer. Um, and, and one of the, probably the most unique things about the Coyote pellet grill versus some of the competition that's out there is it's extremely versatile. So if you were to go get a Traeger, a Green Mountain, uh, Weber even has one now, you know, it's that kind of traditional cart barrel look. The maximum temperature you can get up to in a pellet grill is, you know, 500 degrees or so. And that's great for smoking and, you know, for some grilling as well, but you can't sear at that temperature. You need higher heat. And um, if so, if you really like steaks and like to have things seared, you're typically going to be buying another grill. The great thing with Coyote is you can have all three of those cooking functionalities in one piece. You can sear up to 700 degrees on the Coyote pellet grill. Um, and we also have a very large hopper capacity, can hold uh, between up to 12 to 15 pounds as well. So inside the unit, there's a heating element. Um, you know, and it's just a really like an electric glow plug that heats up that uh, ignites the fire into the burner pot. And there's a shot, uh, a picture of the burner pot installed. And notice you don't see any kind of conveyor belt system rolling in. It drops, the pellets drop directly from the hopper down into uh, the burner pot. And then we also have a heat shield. So very important, anytime you're smoking, um, you want to have that uh, indirect heat. The heat is diffused. It's not coming directly up to the cooking surface. And uh, that heat shield is very important to dispersing that heat um, away. But notice we'll have two center grates. The first one is the smoking grate. That's what you would use if you're baking or doing a smoke 
um, where you want that indirect heat. But let's say you're doing hamburgers and you want kind of some nice uh, high temp sear marks or you're doing a good ribeye, uh, you want that direct heat coming up. And every grill has included a searing grate that sits right there in the middle. I got a picture of one or a sample of one here. And so this just simply sits down and this able, enables you to convert your grill um, into, or your smoker into something that's more of a grill where you can sear at a higher temperature. Here's a great shot of how the, um, the hopper works. It's right there in the front. You just pull the front of the, the grill up off and it slides forward, revealing the hopper. There's two dual augers in there that spin, that rotate, uh, and ensures that you know by having two hopper or two augers, you're not going to have uh, any kind of build up or bind up. Um, and it slowly and methodically drops those pellets into the burner pot. Um, the next is we'll um, we do include three temperature probes in every single. Um, grill and there's three spots there on the front. So the temperature probes look like this. They come here, you can plug them in and then you would plug that temperature probe into whatever the meat is that you're cooking. And then it's gonna give you a digital readout on the front of the grill. So the Versa rack, it, it, it's that tiered system that allows you to kind of stack the units uh, or, or stack food on top of each other and maximize the space inside. It's a great feature. Um, that comes with the, the pellet grill here. We also have a very thick gasket. It ensures that you're sealing in those temperatures um, and it's gonna give you that consistent baking type temperature across the grill. So uh, again, here's another great picture of the built-in model. This is something unique. Most of the competition in built-in, there's really only two other competitors. They're priced double of what we are. And so uh, in, in traditional form, Coyote is able to bring, design the performance element that you need, but also deliver it to it at a good value to the consumer. So um, at $29.99 on the 36 inch built-in grill, it's a heck of a deal. Gives you a lot of functionality, technology, design, and performance in the product. So we're gonna take a, a little bit closer look here instead of uh, flipping through the slides. So I'm gonna slide this back and stop share so you guys can see a little bit more clearly. So the first thing we'll do is take a look here at the front of the grill. And uh, you'll notice, see, we've got the LED control panel. I'll kind of touch on that in a minute. But um, great piece here is we've got this nice big hood on this 36 inch grill. Um, so you open it up, tons of space to cook. Um, and we have the Versa rack system in here. So here's our basic cooking, um, you know, grates. It's a laser cut grates here, you know, etched with the Coyote logo. Right there. But if you notice, I also have a whole rack here in the middle and I've got another rack here on the top. So if you're gonna be smoking, let's say ribs, I could put up to 12 racks of ribs on, on this grill. So it gives you a ton of functionality, but if you don't need them, these racks can simply pull out and you can take them out if you're gonna be grilling uh, directly on the surface there. Um, so we'll take a little bit closer look here at how to fill up the hopper. So you simply just, the hopper's concealed, which is another great piece of the design of this grill. So this just simply slides forward and your hoppers would be, uh, your pellets would be dumped right in there inside the hopper. Um, and then you've got your dual augers right there that will spin and drop the pellets directly into the burner pot. Slide that forward. And then we'll take a little bit closer look at the control panel here. Let me move the camera down. And then here. So control panel, very easy to use. It's got a very bright screen. So even in direct sunlight, you're not uh, you know, straining to see you know, how, to, how to control it. Um, you'll notice right here on the left, we have the spots to insert the food probes. So they simply go directly in there. The uh, LED control panel is going to read out the actual temperature um, on the inside of the grill and then the set temperature. So the actual temperature is, is uh, pulling from a food probe on the inside, and it'll also 
also have three probe food probes here, which are the, correspond to these three probes. So if I were to plug in one of the food probes, it would give me the readout of the food um, on the inside. Down here at the bottom, we have smoke, grill, and sear. And to change the temperature, very simple. I can either hit it in one degree increments or I can tap the set temperature and then type in what temperature I want to go to. The light control is also here. I can turn the lights on and off. And then this green button here on the left is uh, there to start the grill. Um, you'll hear the fan kick on and then that's when the igniter goes and the pellets start to drop inside the grill. Another nice feature is on both the cart model and the built-in model is the storage and drip tray. So there's two dual drip trays, one on each side. And so any kind of juices or runoff or debris would just come in, drop into one of these drip trays. They're removable. You can clean them out, throw them in the dishwasher. Very easy to use. Slide that forward. There's additional storage there. And then on the cart model, we actually have full extension drawers underneath. So nice big drawer enables you to have plenty of space to be able to put your pellets uh, down underneath um, on the pellet grill. So that's a quick overview of the pellet grill. We're gonna take a quick look at the competition and then we will jump into our um, contest and train. So let me bring back up the PowerPoint presentation and we'll wrap this up. All right, so I'm gonna skip through this because we just showed it to you in person and talked about using the touchscreen display as well. So let's look at the competition and um, kind of what else is out there. So you can see how Coyote stacks up um, against Memphis and Twin Eagles, they're really the only two other built-in um, pellet grills out there on the market. And you can see, not only are we providing an incredible value to the customer, but we're also providing better performance. Um, so just in, in the temperature control there, you can see up to 700 degrees, um, you know, we can, we can heat up extremely quickly. We've got 304 stainless steel. We've got an incredible warranty, a lifetime warranty. Um, on all of the stainless. So great value there on the built-in, but then also looking at um, the freestanding options. So the Coyote is $26.99 and $35.99 respectively. And you know, this is where you get into, you know, kind of the traditional pellet grill look, but this is the most premium options from the competitors that are out there. So, the, um, the Timberline, which is the Traeger, Weber just released a new one, uh, Louisiana Grills and, and Memphis. And um, again, especially comparing to what some of the lower um, price point competition is at, we're providing you know, significantly better performance. Um, and and you know, look at that temperature range, 700 degrees where the Traeger uh, can only get up to 500 uh, degrees. Also available is a whole new lineup of accessories that accompany the pellet grill. Um, the first is the insulated jacket. So if you're putting the pellet grill into a polymer cabinetry or a, non -com or a combustible material island, you do need to have an insulated jacket. We have them available there in stock in both the 28 and a 36 inch size. We also have a new type of drawer that's available. So this is a single drawer, but it's, it's sealed. And the reason why that's important, it's got a gasket that goes all the way around it. Especially in the Southeast, we have a lot of humidity. You do not want to let your pellets have a lot of humidity um, when you're storing them or to get wet because they'll soak in that humidity, they'll soak in that moisture and expand. So you wanna make sure that those pellets stay dry. And uh, that's where these, these great uh, sealed drawers come into place. They can hold a ton of weight. Uh, you can see there the 36 inch drawer can hold up to 120 pounds and they're designed to go right underneath 
the grill and the island application. We have full list of marketing material. Um, you can check out Pinnacle Sales Group's um, YouTube channel for some more videos or go to our website to get additional collateral and price books um, available. So with that, we will um, just answer any questions that, that might be out there. So it looks like Erwin had one, how many pounds does the grill hold? And how long does it uh, take approximately, I think is a, the question. So um, it'll hold up to 15 pounds of pellets. And depending on how or what you're, what you're cooking, it'll obviously use pellets at a faster rate. I personally have smoked um, over 13 hours at I think about 250 degrees uh, when I was doing a pork butt. And it, uh, I mean, I, didn't, I never refilled the, the pellet tray because it, you know, it was kind of using them a little bit, a little bit slower. Um, another question from Leah, when changing out from smoke to grill to sear, do you change the entire deflector out? Um, and uh, yeah, I can demonstrate that. You don't have to change that. And you can, um, you know, depending on what you're doing, you're really just changing the temperature. If you wanna change out that uh, direct cooking grid, it, um, it, it, I mean, it really depends on what you're cooking and what you're trying to achieve. So for example, if you're trying to cook hamburgers, let's say, and you want kind of more of a char on the hamburger and, and a lot of kind of, sear on that um you know you you might want to you know put that that uh sear tray in but if you're just looking for you know nice even cook regardless of the temperature you might leave that in so here i'll scoot back up and we can change that out real quick um i'm gonna go ahead and exit out of the, the sharing so you guys can see the screen full screen okay so all right, so to change this out, let me move the commercial rack out of the way. So you just simply pull out the center grate. Obviously, you want to do this when it's cool or make sure you have really thick gloves um, to do that. Um, if it is um, hot, we do include a tool that's used to change it out. So you simply put that tool in, you can pull out the deflector. You can take the smoke, uh, the sear, drop it right back in there, and then put your grate back on. And just in case, the tool on the other side doubles at a bot as a bottle opener, so, which is very important for some people. So that's how you change out the, uh, the sear there. Um, regarding pellets, we, we do not sell our own pellets. And the reason why is, you know, there's kind of a whole separate industry for that. There's tons of different flavors that you may want to have. Um, so we really want you to be able to have the choice to choose whatever flavor, style, size of pellets that, that works for you. The Coyote Pellet Grill can really use any type of pellet. So there's, there's, nothing, that's, um, there, there's nothing that's specific that needs to be, um, you know, for the Coyote. So, um, and then, uh, looks like one last question about the sealed drawers are available for the cart. They're not actually sealed on the cart. They're, um, they, 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 they close up, but there's not a gasket that goes all the way around. Um, so it's not, um, it's not a hundred percent sealed like it is on the drawer. Uh, the drawer is for the island, um, only. So. Um, with that, we'll go ahead and jump into um, the, um, the the game show here, and we'll see who is the winner. Um, and uh, if you have any other questions, you know, we're, we're here to help. So I will let uh, Tiffany take it away. Good morning, everyone. So you should be able to see my screen. And for those that loaded Kahoot on your phone or computer, you'll need to enter the game pin of 733-531 in order to join us. We'll give everyone a few seconds here to join in. Um, but as Andrew said before, this is a series of 10 questions. And the faster you respond, the more 
points you earn. And the winner of this game show will earn a $50 Visa gift card that will be sent out today. So we'll just give everyone a few more seconds. All right, we'll go ahead and get started. What are some of the reasons consumers choose pellet grills? True or false, the Coyote Outdoor Pellet Grill is only available as a built-in model. Multiple choice. The Coyote Outdoor Pellet Grill can be ordered in which sizes? Which grade of stainless steel is used in the construction of the pellet grill? What is the name of Coyote's trademark topper system? What is the description of the Versarac? How many temperature probes can be used at one time? multiple choice. Which cooking functions are available on the Coyote Outdoor Pellet Grill? What type of control panel is included on the Coyote Outdoor Pellet Grill? Last question, how long is the warranty on the exterior stainless steel? And the top scorers are E, KK in second, and the winner is Malia. So congratulations, Malia. I'll be reaching out to you to get the address for your $50 Visa gift card. Great job, guys.
All right. Well, thank you, every, thank you everyone for attending. We really appreciate your time. Hope you learned some more information about the Coyote Pellet Grill. Uh, it's a great time to put uh, Pellet Grill on display before grill season really gets cranking. So just let us know and, or you can reach out to your local Pinnacle rep uh, and they can help you with that. So have a great day, everyone, and uh, enjoy the rest of your week and have a great weekend.